Hi guys, so I'm going on a little trip today to San Diego. Just a little day trip, seeing some friends, um, going to the beach, just trying to explore around the city. And I want to take you guys along with me. So I've never actually gone, traveled that far like myself, but today will be the day. So I got, I got my coffee here, everything I'm going to be needing for the day. And yeah, let's have some fun. And if you don't notice, I have another camera today. So I did look like, upgrade my little um thing so i have a little sony camera now instead of my big ass canon but yeah i'm excited let me know what you guys think about the quality and if you guys just enjoy this little vlog okay see you guys Don't take fully my financial advice, for sure. And because, you know, at one point, I need them. Okay. I'm here, guys. I am at La Jolla Shore. So it's like a little beach right here. It's like one of the nicer beaches, like where it's not too much tourist tourism. I'm parked right now just because I want to just chill for a little bit. I've been driving for a long time. And there isn't really much parking here. But I'm so excited. It's so pretty around here. Like... Come on. Look at that. Look at that. So right now you can't really see the water. It's just more so the like houses and like little neighborhood. 1126. And I'm just gonna figure out what to do. I'm gonna probably see my friend Michelle, hopefully. Um, she's here for TwitchCon. I'm not sure exactly when I'll see her. But that's one thing. Beach, obviously. I wanna be here for like maybe like an hour just to chill. And then I see Brandon, another friend of mine slash like YouTuber that I've just been a fan of for a long time and I got close to so I'm gonna see him like more towards like the end of the day. I definitely just wanna, okay, I'm a fangirl so Faze Rug is someone that I've been looking up to for a long time, brought his brother, Brandon's brother. Um, so I'm gonna go to like the malls that he usually films at just because it's just cool because as a little kid like I would just watch him always at the mall. And I just want to go. Maybe I'll see him. Who knows? I don't know if that man's busy today or what. If he's out filming, I'll take you guys along with me wherever I go next. Okay, guys. So I am walking to the beach. Um, I did find some parking, like literally right behind me. The people left, and it's perfect. So now I'm literally so close to the beach. It's like really pretty. It feels so nice. Like the weather is literally perfect. I'm gonna just chill, like on the little stone and watch the waves, film some TikToks. Just very peaceful. I should have brought my journal, honestly. So on my phone, I do have an app. Oh my God, so pretty. Wait, 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 wait. Can you guys see that? OMG, isn't that good luck? I swear a butterfly is good luck. Wow. Okay, as I was saying. So on my phone, I have an app that lets me journal. So I'll just journal on my phone. Uh, but it's so pretty. Oh my God, the sand. I'd be forgetting that there's sand here and I have to be careful with it. Wow. How pretty is that, bro? I mean, I'll probably just sit here. You know, honestly. Oh, this little bench right here, free for me. This little bench for me, myself and I. Chill a little bit. Um, the other beach that I've gone to is Bear Mount, some shit like that, right? Uh, that one, not the prettiest, it's really busy. But. Oh my god, it's so nice, not even hot at all.
So I transitioned over to like these palm trees in the shade. So yeah. I'm just gonna show here. I'm a journal here, so yeah. A little passage done. Um, I don't mind sharing it honestly, it's nothing too crazy, but um, so I don't know if you guys see that. But basically, I wrote a peaceful time at La Jolla Beach. I've honestly needed this just getting away from everything, getting away from the trauma that my city holds, but also the comfortable atmosphere of it. I'm out of my comfort zone, but it's so peaceful in a way, looking at nature, the waves, and being by myself, excited for what this day has in store. I needed to get away from the version of myself, of that version of myself, and find inner peace. I've been so anxious lately, I need, to, I need to do something for myself, and I'm doing it. So, yeah, I mean, I know what that means, and I mean, to like, give you guys an insight, I've just been so anxious lately, like, anything I do, even if it's exciting, uh, I just get like this knot in my stomach and there's just been like a lot of stress going on in my life um i mean as you guys know i open up a lot about my trauma like my sexual assault that's just always hard to deal with um especially my abuser literally being in my city um and the people protecting my abuser being there too but i feel like this kind of shows me that i don't have to be stuck in that city like as much as i love that city and it's it's literally home. Um, I feel like I could find home anywhere. Um, and yeah, that's just like an inside. Uh, I'm tearing up. I just really needed to like get away and have some time for myself. This is literally like a self-care little trip, just um, enjoying myself, being hopefully with people um, that I just love and appreciate. So yeah, um, I'm probably just gonna head back to my car and see what else to do but um honestly so great just being here yeah i'm geeking so as i said i was probably gonna see brandon hopefully i wasn't like promising anything um towards the end of the day but he called me right now let me know that about an hour he'll be available so i'm so excited like you guys don't understand i haven't seen this man in two years or like maybe even more than that like an actual like um conversation but yeah, I have like a little present for him um, and I'm excited to give it to him. Nothing crazy, but I know it's like gonna be meaningful towards him. And yeah, oh my God, I'm so excited. Like in all honesty, I wanted to come here honestly to like get away, but he's one of the reasons why like this trip would just be more like meaningful and like self care because he's one of the few people that have gotten me through like a rough patch in my life and like continue to so yeah okay uh i can't even talk okay i'll see you guys when i'm probably with him or like about to go with him ah oh guys i'm so excited bye 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 guys we are almost there oh, i'm so excited all right guys so i'm just like chilling over here for a bit um this is brendan's gift i kind of got a little bit of coffee on it not on purpose obviously but it's drying right now and it's let's say 127 uh 20 minutes until i see him crazy but i'm like here at the albertsons and like starbucks and everything um just because it was on the way and i saw it loki fangirling as i should um just re very excited because i haven't seen well i haven't like been to brandon's new house or like I just don't remember the experience because if you guys do know or don't there's the little link to the little video but I was or I don't even know if I have a link but I'll leave it in the description but I was in his video for like little vlog basically where it was me and a bunch of fans my friends and we just hung out with him and it was the first time I met him and it's just crazy you'll see my first reaction to meeting him 
It's a little bit embarrassing, but at the same time, not because like I know myself and I know everything that man has got me through and just the people around him. So yeah, um, and I don't like, I remember like the whole time I was texting back and forth with Brandon and like my friends. So I don't really remember the drive, but like now like I'm just trying to like see every detail of everything. So yeah, I'm very excited. I'm gonna hang out with him for maybe like an hour. So yeah, like even if it was five minutes, I would be so appreciative because uh, not just like honestly if I just got like a high and like a hug I'd be so happy um because I told him like I need a hug like like I don't know if you know you know like if you have like someone that you look up to or like just someone that you're very close to like they like or if you're like a physical touch person like a uh, love language or everything like you'll know you'll know so yeah I'm excited but like 10 more minutes so probably start heading there i'm excited guys you know i'm still so into this <laughs> hey i'm gonna let you take it away okay. this is this is your vlog so you gotta you know you gotta lead the way okay, okay, okay. okay guys so we're finally here with brandon and i do have a gift for you and i said no gifts but damn i already have one it's so. your this is like closer to your birthday i should be the one getting you a gift you, you didn't need to get me anything you <laughs> no, know? come on okay so it's nothing crazy but i know you're gonna like it just okay. for who you are uh oh so you can already see oh my gosh yo what i don't know if you already have this no i don't guys it's a phoenix suns this is dope it's like a kind of like a throwback like a retro thing yeah Western Conference Pacific Division. Yes, guys, we are in the Pacific Division with the Lakers, Clippers, Kings, and Warriors. But, <laughs> dude, thank you course, so much. Yo, this is, <laughs> if you guys know me, you know I love anything Phoenix Suns. And it's a basketball jersey, too. This is yeah. this is really sick, and I don't have anything like this. Thank you. I feel bad now. No, I, you're good at it. Dude. Like, come on. Damn, we this were is raised sick. to not come to a house and be I Same, same. <laughs> I know, I know. But I know I told you no gifts, though. But thank you, I appreciate it. This is like my late birthday gift. Yep. <laughs> Damn, hell yeah. Okay, so what have you done in this vlog so far? Um, well, I drove here, uh -huh. and then I just went to the beach. I like did a little bit of content, journaled, and just like look at the waves. Okay. It was pretty chill, and then we came over here. Um, I was kind of like, uh, anxious and a little bit, like, excited, obviously. Yeah. So, <laughs> were you anxious even though we met before? Yes. Really? <laughs> what, Booker? You want to say hi to the video? Okay. Okay. Sit. Sit. Say hi. Booker. This is different. This isn't my video. <laughs> yeah. This is, you're new to this channel. You're new. Okay. So this was my question to you. So okay. obviously. Okay, Booker. Booker. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's your new friend. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I know. Yeah. What do you think he's saying right now, if you had to guess? Um, like, please, let's go somewhere or something. I don't know. You want to go? I think he's saying he, he likes the, the gift that you got Aww. me. Yeah, Booker, you like this? Look. You like it? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Okay, now let me try to ask the question without my dog interrupting. Okay. So, you're from LA, but you've been in San Diego for a little bit. Which city do you like more? Mm. Um, well, I feel like San Diego. I've like came here a couple times and I feel like I like it because I'm not in the city. So I have I don't really like the city like that. Yeah. Um, and this kind of reminds me more of like a more like a community thing. Yeah. I'm like I like 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 that. And the weather's way better here. It's like actually like um like fresh. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like San Diego has all the cool things you can do in LA, but it's a lot, um, yeah, like you say, fresh, like the air is just like cleaner. The people <laughs> are nicer. I will yeah. say that. I don't know if you've encountered like some like random people while you've been here, but they're so much nicer than like some of the people you meet on the street in LA. Like, I feel like in LA, everyone's trying to get there. It's like, Everyone's yeah. trying to like hustle and make it. Over here in San Diego, everyone's chill, everyone's calm, but man, it's crazy that you're here. I was <laughs> yeah. telling her because uh, the last time I saw her was like three years ago. Mm -hmm. You were so much younger. Yeah. So like when 18. she told me today, like, oh yeah, I'm driving. I was like, wait, you're, you <laughs> drive now? And like, you could drive that far? Like, it's, it's crazy that 
you're like growing up and like it just makes it makes it mean that I'm getting older too oh like we're God. all getting older like I don't know it's crazy but thanks for your support for real it. like you said your fan page your first post was when I think it was like around this time maybe like six years ago dude that's, 2018 that's crazy and anyone that has supported me or my family for six years five years four like any amount of years that's like I appreciate that for real that's a, that's a freaking insane yeah <laughs> okay guys so I am heading home and Brandon's gonna give me a little bit of snacks let's see his pantry Look, little pantry like you tour. said you can't show up to someone's house empty-handed well I can't let someone leave my house empty-handed <laughs> so we're making a little goodie bag Cassandra I hope you like candy Booker dude, this, <laughs> it's not for you this is not dog food I hope you like candy cuz oh my god oh if you like Mexican candy I have Mexican candy if you like fruit snacks oh I have fruit god. snacks if you like even like burgers and hot dogs, I have them in candy oh form. So you won't find any real food in my house, but you'll find a whole lot of candy. So we're just gonna put you some. I know you have a long drive home, so yeah. that way you don't have to stop and. Okay, question: Who has the better like pantry candy selection? You, Brian, or Anthony? Okay, Anthony, we're gonna cross him off the list. <laughs> he doesn't count because he has a girlfriend. So she like shops for him and she like organizes the pantry. So that doesn't, it, it, that's not fair. That's cheating. <laughs> Brian has more of like a healthy selection. Mm. Like he'll have the candy here and there, but he'll also have like a, a, a rice patty. What is it like? Oh, uh, rice cakes? Rice cakes <laughs> and like pretzels and oh like um, maybe wheat bread for when he's feeling healthy. Protein bars for oh me. If you want Halloween time all year round, then you come here for like yeah. a trick or treat, you know? So, oh my God. yeah. Uh, Cassandra, are you more of a hot dog or a burger type of girl? We'll give you both. So, <laughs> okay. so yeah, I'll give you a one or two. And get it. Oh my God. And you know what? Since you do make videos now, if you ever want to do the spicy noodle challenge, oh <laughs> we'll give you a spicy noodle challenge. I have a lot. I think my dad eats those for fun. Like, Hey, your dad, that's, that's not normal, but I will say one of my cousins <laughs> eats it for fun too, and I don't know how because I burn, like, burn when I try to do it, but. Well, uh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I wish my dad was here to give you, like, a good goodbye, <laughs> but oh unfortunately he's not here, so you have to get, like, a nice goodbye. Today. Oh my God. <laughs> My dad has the best goodbye, but. Yeah. Um, you know, I was like, for you. Guys, I would I wouldn't mind spending the day with Cassandra, but I have to record a YouTube video. Yeah. Oh my god, my bag. <laughs> oh yeah, you forget your bag. <laughs> I'm gonna have a reason to come back. <laughs> I know, right? Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but what about Papa Rugs pantry and Mama Rugs? Oh. Does that also not count? <laughs> Good no, Mama no. Rug. Papa Rug and Mama Rugs pantry used to be good when me and Brian lived there. Mm. Now after we moved out, it's I wouldn't say zero out of ten. It's like two out of ten. It's just filled with like Middle Eastern spices oh. and like freaking garbanzo beans yeah. and like I don't know, just weird old people stuff. Oh my Me God. and my brother kept that pantry young. Yeah. Booker, you gotta say bye. You gotta say bye. Not to me. Booker, this is not for you, bro. Oh my God. Hey. We can come out. Just, wait, look, not not you, bro. You gotta hold on. I'll come right back. <laughs> oh shit, my garage is open. Oh. <laughs> so much for being a responsible homeowner. <laughs> but anyways, Cassandra, did you have a good time? I did. I did. Okay, good. Okay. I know we've like had this plan for a long time, so I wanted yeah. to make sure you had a good day and you didn't waste your time driving all the way over here. But thanks for the support, honestly, thank and thank you. you for that jersey. I appreciate it, for real. Okay. This is my little thank you. gift to you, I guess. <laughs> but anytime you're in San Diego, hit me up. Okay. And just, you already know, any like anything you need, just message me and like any problem you have or anything, like I'm always there for you. So thank you. Just like you are for Same me. Same here, yeah. Yeah, of course. I appreciate it, honestly. I will, I, can I tell them this? Yeah. Cassandra started out as a fan 
just like a, a fan page, like a supporter of mine and my brother's videos. And now when I see her, it's like, I don't even like recognize that it's someone who watches our videos. I just see her as a friend and someone that like I could talk to, someone that it's just like I'm talking to one of my friends. You know what I mean? So it's crazy how like a friendship could start just from you watching my videos. Yeah. Kind of like reminds me of like, me and Devin Booker <laughs> yeah. like honestly like I would just watch him on TV as a member of the Suns and then now like I have his phone number and like when I go to Arizona like I've been to his house and everything so and now I just see him as a friend not really an athlete yeah. same with you I don't really see you as a fan I see you as a friend so but the same way you still like geek over Devin Booker I'll still geek over you <laughs> I know I know I know but thanks for coming and drive safe too I will Thank yeah you. of course bye, bye. Wow. <sighs> okay, so my little car. We're gonna go. Wow, I'm so, so sad, but so happy. So we'll continue our vlog elsewhere. Okay, guys, so I kind of just stopped right here in a very naturey little part just because I want to just like, I want to just take it all in. Like, that was just the best thing that could have possibly happened this trip very grateful for brandon um like genuinely we've gotten so close like i able to tell him so much um and like he's he genuinely cares and is there for me so knowing that we haven't seen each other in so long and so much has just happened for both of us it was just good to you know to talk talk with him and just not even like about anything in particular it's just genuinely just having a genuine conversation with him we have we gave each other multiple hugs and that that just made my year honestly but the weather's perfect everything went perfect like i've been getting so much good news and yeah like i just love that man um and he, like he's just such a sweetheart and you know him you know giving me a little goodie bag helping me with my vlog like I always try to be like, no, it's good, but like that man insists and like, it's like, if you insist, he's like, if you want to make a TikTok, like, ah, uh, he's so sweet. And like, I would make a TikTok with him, but like, one of two things. One, I feel like I already asked for too much, and two, it's just, I just don't know what, I don't really like post trends like that. Like, I just do like lip things, you know, very, very grateful for everything. And I'm so glad I'm, I'm just like recording this because, you know, it's just going to be in my memories and now i honestly don't know what to do um i think it's like 3 30 something like that i'm probably just gonna eat in my car and yeah okay thank you guys for watching i'll pick it up whenever i go do something <sighs> okay guys so it is a couple days after me going to san diego and i didn't really vlog the rest so yeah, I didn't really do much. I went to, honestly went shopping. I went to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, got some jewelry, got some cute little pajamas. And then I went home. I went to like, um, I went like to another city on the way, picked up a little thing from Facebook Marketplace for my cats and then came home because I was tired and I hate driving at night. Uh, I had an amazing time. It was, it, it made me reflect a lot and I have been thinking a lot since that trip. So if you guys remember in the video been asking me which I prefer, L or SD. Um, and I said San Diego and well, if you're telling me directly LA, not where I live, San Diego. But if you're telling me like where I live or San Diego, that's where it's like, mm, I'd wanna, I'd prefer somewhere that's similar to here, not exactly here. But um, yeah, I, I'm growing, bro. I'm 21, um, I'm looking for a job. I'm just looking to grow and it honestly got me thinking that if I were to be like given a position to go to San Diego and move there and live there, I would because I have to stop being comfortable where I'm uncomfortable, if that makes sense. I want to be fully uncomfortable, but like in a good way. So it was so refreshing to live there. Like you guys don't understand where I'm, I'm like in a constant state of fight or flight here. And of course, I love my city. I love like like the community aspect how close everything is together and how small it is at the same time like so big and so small at the same time but so many triggers the people that defend my abuser the people who protect him and he himself lives here it's not something that like is enjoyable you know what i mean 
So being able to live somewhere where like I don't know anything about that place, being able to discover it for the first time without that, without ever thinking he might be around the corner. Um, it's just like just being there for a little bit amazing. Amazing. So like even if it's not me going to San Diego, like I definitely want to live somewhere and consider moving somewhere that I don't know because the relief and just like thinking about it it's like I don't sorry for the birds chirping but I don't want to live somewhere where I'm just triggered all the time like the person that's abused me has came to my home this home so he knows where I live he's he's lived at my house for a bit yeah you know I'm gonna talk about this in another video I want to keep this video um like as mentally refreshing as it already is but yeah just something that i want to talk about and how something i'm considering now um thank you guys for just tuning in i definitely want to make more videos where i'm just able to mentally refresh and everything so as always you're important you matter and you're loved bye guys